how to manage discoloration in endodontically treated teeth. Let me share as to how I would approach such a scenario in a clinical practice. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to share it. Understanding the causes of discoloration. Discoloration in endodontically treated teeth can result from pulpal necrosis, which is breakdown of blood and pulp tissue, which can infiltrate the dentinal tubules leading to intrinsic staining. Endodontic materials. Certain materials used during root canal therapy like the MTA can cause discoloration over time. Incomplete removal of the pulp tissue. Residual tissue can decompose and cause staining. What about the treatment options? Internal bleaching, also known as the walking bleach technique. This involves placing a bleaching agent inside the tooth. Sodium perborate mixed with water is most commonly used. It is essential to seal the root canal filling properly to prevent leakage. External bleaching, useful for extrinsic stains or as an adjunct to internal bleaching. Restorative procedures, in case where bleaching is ineffective, veneers or crowns can be used to mask the discoloration. What about precautions and considerations? Avoid thermocatalytic methods. Using heat with hydrogen peroxide can increase the risk of cervical resorption. Ensure that the bleaching agent does not leak into the periodontal tissues, which can cause irritation or damage. Discuss the potential outcomes and limitations of bleaching procedures with patients beforehand. Case selection. Ideal candidates for internal bleaching. Teeth with intrinsic discoloration due to pulpal necrosis or endodontic materials. Teeth without extensive restorations or structural damage. And when to consider restorative option? Severe discoloration which is unresponsive to bleaching and teeth with significant structural loss requiring additional support. So, Remember, my dear friends, managing discoloration in endodontically treated teeth requires a thorough understanding of the underlying cause and careful selection of treatment modalities. Internal bleaching is a conservative and effective approach for many cases, but it's essential to consider patient-specific factors and potential risks. In cases where bleaching is insufficient, restorative options like veneers or crowns offer alternative solutions to restore aesthetics. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to share it. Take care.